What is up, everybody? Andy Townhead back once again here in Wreckfest today, doing another bit of mod gameplay for you. This is another map called Pitfault, and this is the extreme layout. And uh, I'm going to be honest with you, I haven't run the other layout, so I don't know why this is extreme compared to the other ones. But uh, you'll kind of get the gist of Pitfall here in a minute. I'll uh, I'll show you. As you see over towards the edge of the straightaway, uh, as you can see, there's carnage unfolding already with cars running into poles and hitting ramps and stuff. This is an oval, and it splits off into two directions. And in the center of the two ovals, because it's two ovals that meet in the center, is a giant pit. Uh, and actually, there's two giant pits, one on each side. So uh, the object is I'm getting hooked and almost into that pole right there. The object is to not fall into the pit and die. So the rule for me for this race is if you fall into the pit, you cannot reset. You have to restart, and there's our race right there. So yeah, this is the uh, this is the pitfall right here. That had to hurt. So uh, yeah, that ended a little bit sooner than I was anticipating, but you get the idea now, I guess. So we'll start again. All right, back underway here, and. Uh, yeah, cars run into those poles, and I, you get launched, and what? Oh my god, I almost did the same exact thing again. That was almost embarrassing right there. So yeah, you want to, obviously, it's Wreckfest, you want to take out your competitors if you can. Shoving them down the pit is a pretty good way to do that. But, uh, you know, you also need to survive, and that's a big hit right there. And that guy has got to be hurt, and I just took half of his health away. Between me and this yellow car in front of me, we just tag-teamed him. But yeah, there's these ramps, there's contact of guys running into each other. You hit some ramps, some you, you appear not to. There goes a car off the side, two cars off the side, actually. And we just T-boned a guy off the landing of that ramp just then. So, yeah, up into fifth. This is a 10-lap race, of course, as I'm sure we've probably already noticed by now, by looking around with your eyeballs. And we need to get a few more spots before this thing is over with so we can win and hopefully not die in the process. So we are going to try that as I'm getting a run on this guy right here. I'm going to skip the ramp, make the corner here, up into third. The leader's about two seconds ahead of us. So he actually, he's growing. He, this lead is growing at a rapid late rate, rather. It went almost to two and a half. It's going back down. So I'm wondering if it's this fine gentleman right here. Uh, just in front of us here. So I'm taking a wide corner right here. I guess I'll hit the ramp. Oh, this is too wide, and now I'm gone. Oh. God, that's so, like, it's so disorienting. Yep. That's a big fall. So, uh, we'll go ahead and we'll start it again. On the way at Pitfall Extreme. Attempt number three. Try to get here in the middle, see if we can cause some trouble up here. Let's push some guys off to the side. As, oh, there goes. No, he's saying, how did he drive back out of there? That was amazing. Well, fair play to that guy, I guess. He uh, saved himself. I'm not sure how he managed to drive. Three of his wheels were gone, it looks like, and I'm just sliding towards my death on my side. No, nope. all right, recovered. Recovered. That guy almost tried to kill himself. He's lucky I was there to hook him back in the opposite direction. So, into 19th, oh, oh, after one lap, that guy, he's trying to die, he just got T-boned. There's a more cars sitting in the middle of the track where they do not belong. That's a pole, almost just nailed that thing. And uh, up into 6 now, so let's see, one straight away, and what are this guy, he's catching a ride. Let's see if we can shove him off the side. Oh, there's a pole right here in our way, and no, oh, well, we got him off the side anyway, and then I drove off, yep. I was looking behind me, and I drove right off. What a genius. Oh, those impacts are so brutal. All right. Well, that's unfortunate. Start it again. Once again. All right. This is what? Attempt number four now? I had to... I, I accidentally exited out of the last one. I was so confused. Oh, my God. I almost drove out of it. I almost drove right out of the pit. Or right into the pit, rather. And, uh, yeah, not the ideal scenario. You drive straight into the hole of death right off the bat. Well, let's see, we are in fourth right off the bat on the first lap. And I think I'm just going to try and take it easy, because attempt number four is usually our sweet spot, and that guy just got hooked, and he is gone. 
off the edge. That man probably had a family, maybe a wife and kid. They're never going to see him again. They're going to wonder where he was. Maybe he didn't tell anybody what he was doing today. Feels bad. All right, we are in the lead two laps into the race. Two and a half, really. And we look like we already got a lap car up here. And if I catch up to him, I'm going to put the beating on him. There's one behind me, it sounds like. And there's one stuck here in the road. Just doing a donut in the middle of the course for some reason. And that is a bounce off the wall, almost head on into the pole. It's so dark in some of these sections, you can't even really see where the poles are uh, in the corners. Like right here, this pole is kind of hard to see. So uh, these guys are roughing each other up here for or the, wherever they are at the back of the pack. That's so, oh, man, I thought that was going to be a big collision right there, but they, they gathered it up. We'll give this guy a bump draft and maybe a spin. Maybe a spin, a mid-air spin, and we'll land on him. Those guys just went for one hell of a ride right there. We are still in first. The second place car is actually less than two seconds behind me as I do a little two-wheel Russian acrobatics. Don't mind me, or uh, what is it? What is it, like the uh, Arabic like videos of people doing like two-wheel, you know, driving their car on two wheels? Whatever it is, it's it's. I was doing that. There you go. Hopefully that wasn't racist. I don't even know. That's a huge hit on a car that's already dead. And let's see here. Halfway there. Halfway there and I'm in the lead dominating this race. Second place is three seconds behind me. And that guy, did I kill him? Yes, I did. He's going off the side of the road down into the pit of death. And that is going to be a bad day for him. Been there multiple times already in this one lonesome video. Let's go this way. That is a crossed up jump if I've ever seen one. We landed it though. We survived. We're good. We got a car right here. Let's see if we can mess with his day a little bit. Still got a three second lead just about. Let's see if we can kind of dive bomb him. Slide job. That's a big roll right there, but I hit that pole and I think I knocked the light out. <laughs> At least dimmed for a minute there. Oh the gosh, that's first place right there. Oh, but he killed himself. All right, cool. Well, he didn't kill himself, but he de de definitely crashed himself pretty badly right into a pole. So uh, feels bad for him. We, on the other hand, get right back where we were, and we've got an even bigger lead than we did before, because now we've got almost five seconds. That guy got pit maneuvered like I'm the police. And, uh, yeah, bad day for him. Gets worse. Now he's a lap down, and he got spun out. We got a car right here, and oh, he tried to swipe at me, and there he goes, down into the pit of despair. So, uh, another patron of the pit of despair, and oh my god, what a landing that was. The Russian judge gave it a 3. Everybody else gave it a solid 10. We're back on the way. This guy's about dead. Can I wreck him? He's got literally no health on my screen, which is also your screen because we all share the same screen because this is a recorded video that I'm recording right now. And, uh, oh, I whiffed. I whiffed horribly, and that's going to put me right in the wall. I've got suspension damage. My radiator's blown. Brake damage. Because I, I mis-aimed. It was a misfire. What a buffoon. Let's see. Can we track this guy down here? We're seeing some more cards here. Avoid the pole. I don't want to get too tight. Let's see what we can do here. Can I jump on top of him? No. Try it again, and I missed the ramp halfway that time. Here's a... Oh, that's a big hit. That's a twofer. That's a double takeout. AKA, every time I go to Taco Bell. Got him. All those guys, they, uh... They didn't get to see the end of the race. Feels bad for them. What in the world's going on up here? Oh, my God. Whoa, my God. What kind of landing was that? I guess that's what happens when your suspension is just no longer attached to your car. Because it shows our suspension is just completely blown out. So, uh, fair enough. We went for one hell of a ride and maintained a nine-second lead. Fair enough. So that is going to just about do it for this race as we hit the final corner here. Down the straightaway. We've got somebody coming up, up on us real quick, but it's not going to matter. We get the win. And, uh, yeah. Just kind of rolled into everybody else, ruined everybody else's day, and finally got that win on our fourth attempt. Fourth attempt seems to be the sweet spot for us, so 
we'll take it. Another victory in the books on another modded track. Again, this is the Pitfall map, or Pitfall, I should say. So uh, be sure to check that out on the Steam Workshop if you have the game. It's a lot of fun. That'll do it for this video, everybody. Thank you for watching. As always, if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. It helps me out a ton. And I will see you all in the next one. Peace.